Hello kids, it is me again, back with another video. Something fun this time. I put a poll on my community tab and you guys answered. Today what we're going to be doing is window shopping for clothes that I will never wear and that I will never purchase. I'm not buying anything in this video. I do not have the budget for that, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna be looking at what the internet has to offer as far as clothing goes. Now, I used to be the kind of gal who would, you know, shop at Boohoo and H&M, and since I've really had no reason to buy new clothes recently because I'm not going anywhere, I haven't shopped for new clothes, like, really at all recently, so I thought, I think now would be a good time to do it. I'm not a person with expensive tastes. I don't like expensive things. In fact, on my Twitter account, my other one, not my main one that you should be following, I said that I was perfectly fine with wearing Walmart clothes. And you know what? I still stand by that fact. But I think we should start this video off with something a little bit fancy. That's right. <laughs> Balenciaga. Oh, okay. Green screen? Um, oh, they're like mannequins. Oh, they are mannequins. They're not like mannequins. How about their newest Summer 21 collection? What, what do they have here? A lot of black for the summer. I mean, I know I'm wearing black now, but I don't know, man. Suede? Is that suede? A lot of this stuff is really expensive. I'm not gonna lie. What is this? These are sweatpants? Are these pants pants? Like... I mean, I see the, the pockets here, but I also see sleeves, so I don't, I don't know. I think, nope, these are definitely pants. I don't know about the, the fit of these pants. They come up to her ankles. Like, if I came to school, middle or high school, in pants that stopped at my ankles, I would get made fun of. I don't know if this is like a trend now to have pants that don't quite come all the way down to where they're supposed to come. I know it definitely was not a thing back in my day. Maybe if I sort by price, I might be able to find something that I like and could actually buy at some point. So <laughs> the cheapest thing they have in this new summer collection is this bracelet, which is $350. Uh, I got these these earrings that are shaped like pacifiers. Honestly, I kind of I kind of do like the pacifier earrings. I like the concept. I don't know if they're like made of actual jade or something, which is why they are so expensive. Maybe it's real precious stone and real gold. I would hope so. For this price point, I would hope this is made of like an actual precious stone. Resin and brass? Hold on. You mean to tell me they're charging $495 for a pair of earrings that is epoxy resin and brass, not even gold. <sighs> Anyways, what, what, what do they have for, for men? Maybe I want to get a special guy in my life something. Here's a nice tracksuit. It the proportions make it look like it's for a toddler, but I'm fairly certain it's like purposefully cropped. Oh wait, that's not even cropped. I don't know why it looks like that then. It's just big. I do like this tracksuit. I like the, you know, the, the stripes. It's very nice. These pants, elastic waistband, and just... I, I don't know, man. Listen, I am an appreciator of fashion, as you can clearly tell. But sometimes I just don't get some of this. Like, here's a, a hood. It's literally just a hood, like, I don't know, a cowl, I guess. Because people definitely wear those in the year of our Lord 2021. But it's, it's a hood, but it's also shaped like, I don't know, you can kind of see the sleeves here. It's weird. I get when you're going for these luxury brands. Bro, look at the sleeves! Hold on, I gotta see how this looks on someone. I was gonna make a point, but I changed my mind. What? First of all, this shirt doesn't even fit this poor model. Like, it's, the, the shirt is wearing him, as they say, and it's just... No. Anyways, as I was saying, I know that a lot of the times when you're buying these luxury brands, you're paying for the brand name, not necessarily the clothing itself. And like, I get it, but you can at least make your stuff look good, you know? How, how about something still expensive, but you know, still kind of luxury? Gucci, their stuff is sort of ridiculous sometimes, but it's still wearable, you know? I got their handbags, the shoes, okay. Right off the bat, this shoe is making me irrationally angry. Cause you have the front part right, 
And that's like pointy, because that's where your toes go. But what's, why all the extra space back here? Is it to hide your money? Because I know some people put money in their shoe and like, maybe you want extra space for it. Now I gotta find this shoe. This, now hold on. From this angle, it looks fine. But from this angle, it looks busted. And also the print is just, I am a fan of flowery prints. But this one I don't like and I, I don't know why maybe it's because it's like on a white background I'm not a fan of white oh here 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 is the one women's ballet flat with horse bit oh like the little the, the, that thing that's what that is why there's no pictures of it on a person so I don't really know like if it if it's normal or if it's just like I don't know about other people but my heel is not quite shaped like this you know I'm not sure why it's like that it just it feels uncomfortable and it's like $800 on top of that on top of being ugly and weirdly shaped it's expensive <laughs> now see some of this stuff I can get behind I know I just said I didn't like that flower print but on this kind of hoodie it's cute is it you know, two thousand dollars cute? No, but it's cute. I mean, we have a we have a sensible wedge here. You know, maybe one day if I get too old to be wearing heels, then I'll purchase a sensible wedge. But I'm not quite in my sensible wedge phase, so we're gonna move past that. This looks like I don't know how to put it, but it looks like a women's all girls school. That was redundant, but an all girls school like water polo outfit. I don't. I don't know why it looks like that. I think it's because of the color. It's not quite white. It's like, you know, back when they couldn't get things super white, I guess. I don't know. And the stripes and I, I don't know. On the model, it looks normal, but just like that, it looks like, you know, from the 1930s. I think that's kind of what they're going for here. I think that is intentional. So, you know, I can appreciate some intentionality. Wide like pants are starting to come back like bell bottoms. I mean, these are specifically bell bottoms, but also kind of the boot cut jean type thing. I used to be aware of boot cuts when I was like 12, but I also had no style back then, so that was why I was doing that. But I don't know how I feel about wide leg pants. I don't own a pair, so I don't know if I'd be in favor of this, but I don't know, just the wide leg pants with like the sandals combo, it just, it makes me think of The Sims 2. And I say that because The Sims 2's fashion, like the clothes in it and the, you know, base versions, that game came out in 2004. That was like a thing then. Wide leg pants and like flip flops. That, that was the ting back then. Now, not so much, but I guess Gucci is trying to make it a thing again. Now these shoes, they're kind of a lot, but I will say this. I do like shoes with this kind of uh, sole. Like it has like a thick, like chunky tread. And I have a couple of, I have like, oh yes, this exact kind of sole, I like this. I have two pairs of H&M boots that don't look like this. They look like normal boots, but they have the same kind of sole. And I do really like that. And I do want shoes like that. However, these are $1,000. So I'm gonna have to pass on them. Shorts, okay. Here we see, it's just a really basic pair of cut off denim shorts. Let's play a game over or under. I'm going to say this is, this pair of shorts is gonna be $500. I'm saying $500. We're about to see how much is this basic pair of denim shorts. It's 750. Okay, I mean, no, that is that is a lot. It's 200 more than I said. 250 more. 750 for a pair of cut off denim shorts. I could take the pants that I'm wearing right now because I'm wearing jeans right now. I could cut them off. I could get the same effect for free, basically. I don't even remember how much I paid for these jeans. Probably under twenty dollars. But like, mm, is there even any like logo on it or anything like that? Because I mean, again, luxury brands are paying for the name, not really for the product. But if, if the name isn't really on there, then you just got got by paying $750 for a pair of cutoff jeans. You know what I'm saying? I like the shirt. Ooh. Why do they have to style them like this? Oh my- Another thing about these. The way that they style them. This shirt is like perfectly fine on its own. Like I could see myself wearing a shirt like this. Not for, you know, $1,000, but I could see myself wearing a shirt like this. But not with a red vest is that a sweater vest I mean, it's got like an argyle pattern and it's just in the chain and the gloves in the skirt it's it's doing entirely too much i mean the shoes are fine it looks like this model is wearing stockings i wouldn't maybe just like some tie socks with these shoes i do like the shoes but everything else well the purse the purse is fine it's just a black purse but like mm, what I think I've had my fill of Gucci for now. Let's go back to our old friends at Boohoo. You know, I haven't bought anything from them in like a while. Um, I know Boohoo has had like a recent scandal, 
because I don't know how recent this was, but they have kind of a forced labor problem. I haven't bought anything from them in legit a few years and I don't plan on buying anything from them now, but you know, I, I know people make fun of Boohoo for being kind of unwearable, so I kind of I just want to look at what they have. And I know they're also known for having a perpetual sale. <laughs> for instance, they've got up to 60% off everything. Let, let's see what they have that's new. Their stuff is pretty cheap. I mean, the stuff that I have from them is like pretty basic, like t-shirts and patterned, floral pattern shirts and stuff like that. Is that cow print? I don't think that's cow print, that's like distressed. Uh, a TLC shirt, not quite my generation, but cute I guess. This is an interesting cut, you got a, you got a keyhole in the middle which, you know, is pretty typical. And then you have the sleeves where just like your armpits are out. I guess if you're a sweaty person this might be good for you, but I, I really don't know. I do like this. This kind of mesh corset strappy mini dress, I'm not gonna buy it because literally where would I wear that? And also no but like i like the concept it's a fun concept like this one you got like the bra thingy on one side and like a full sleeve on another side that might be cute i mean none of this is for my body type like i know that but i i can see the fashion in it you know it's just a lot of this stuff i'm wondering where you would wear it i mean some some of the stuff is practical like a, a tank top, you know, a strappy tank top. You could wear that just out and about, you know? These white dresses, like, oh, what is that? There's just like a panel of fabric in the front. That's weird. Oh, neons, they're, they're a big thing these days. I mean, I do appreciate a good neon, just not on myself. I, I don't like wearing bright colors, but I can appreciate them, you know? Oh, now some of this, like this dress, this kind of cut, I would wear that. I have no idea what the material is and how see-through it is, but I would wear it. Like this, I mean if the sleeves weren't so gigantic, I could see myself wearing that if it came in a darker a darker color than pink and white. Some something like this. Uh not can't really do the whole off the shoulder thing. My uh boobas are too big to remain unsupported out in public, so off the shoulder, off the table. <laughs> now what do they mean by textured? Oh, this looks like upholstery, like a couch or maybe a car seat. Like if this was tan, I could see this on in somebody's car. This stuff isn't quite as ridiculous as Balenciaga or Gucci. Now this kind of dress I might wear, but it also might just look like a tent on me if I buy it in my right size, so. Now this, I do like this. This ditzy floral corset top. I'm not quite sure. The sleeves are getting me. And I think the length as well. It's very short. Never mind. This, no. I, I like it. I just wish it wasn't so short and the sleeves weren't looking like that. Because I like floral patterns. And I have bought a number of floral things from Boohoo. Now, what I do like about Boohoo, despite all of their forced labor stuff, they do have a pretty good petite section um, that I used to shop in. And being that I am five whole feet tall, uh, some places don't have petite sections and Boohoo is like one of the few places that does. I did appreciate that about, about Boohoo. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, come on. I kind of like this. This is plus size, but oh, wait, that's kind of cute. I kind of F with this. Oh, I kind of F with this. Wait. Oh my goodness. This is cute. I like this. Oh man. Oh no. I like it. You know, I've been looking for a dress to wear to my graduation because I am going to graduation. I mean, I'm vaccinated. I can, I can do that. I kind of like this dress. Oh, I'm upset. I'm upset that I like this. Oh man. And I would kill it in this dress. Dude, I'm going to have to find a similar dress elsewhere because I just... Oh, but I like it. I like it a lot. Like the cut, the color. I like it a lot. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm gonna have to look for and it's only $24. Usually $60, but something tells me that it's always $24 because of the perpetual sales on Boohoo. We're gonna move on from her. I'm gonna keep this tab open so that I can remember what it looks like, so I can look for something similar later. I think that's that's enough for Mrs. Boohooington. Alright, let's let's go to the shadow realm of online clothes shopping. And by that, I mean Fashion Nova. Now, I have never purchased a single thing from Fashion Nova. My mom, I think, has bought like shoes from there. Fashion Nova is not my thing, and if you're not Megan the Stallion, she partnered with Fashion Nova, that doesn't surprise me, but whatever. Once you see the kind of person, or no, the kind of body type 
that Fashion Nova caters to, you'll understand why I have never purchased a single thing from this website. Oh, uh, let's see. Black leggings. Okay, I do kind of like these shoes. I do like a good black suede heel. I will say that. I'm not sure if I like the platform or whatever. These pants look incredibly uncomfortable. Like, I could not sit down in them. Um, and then you have this, this butt lifter thing, which, okay. Uh, the thing about a lot of the pants and stuff at Fashion Nova is that it's very, very cinched in the waist and very, very wide in the hips. My waist, not cinched. My hips, not wide. So I, it would be a fool's errand for me to purchase something from Fashion Nova and expect it to fit like normal, you know? Also, I've heard that Fashion Nova photoshops a lot of their models, which also doesn't surprise me, but at least shoes, these rainbow baby slides, not a $30 pair of shoes. I mean, you can you can buy some regular slides and affix some faux fur to it, and you'd basically get the same thing. I mean, nothing here- okay. I was gonna say nothing here is too crazy, but these shorts are a bit much. First of all, they just look large. I don't know why. They just look really- I think it's the fringe. The fringe is making them look, like, really big. These full body- well, they're not full body, but they're like- they're rompers, but it's like a tube top, and it doesn't look- well, it looks like there might be a seam on the side. This- what material is this? Is it lycra? I'm not quite sure what lycra is, but it's like- it's shiny, and it's like kind of smooth. This weird cat suit. I'm not sure where you would wear a, a cat suit. I mean, so far, aside from like a couple of things, most of the stuff on here looks pretty wearable. I mean, other than this, I would not step outside in those. Extreme fray shorts. Yeah, it's, no. Yeah, see, here's what I'm saying with like, like, I don't doubt this is a real person. Like, it's not like a, I don't know, an AI or what. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, I don't doubt this is a real person, but I do doubt that this person who may or may not exist has proportions like this. I mean, listen, I know that plastic surgery is like a thing, but I don't know. The edges, like this, this concrete or brick floor is starting to look a little odd to me. I don't know, man. Like, okay, I don't know what size this model is wearing, but if I, if I buy the size that this model is wearing, how is it gonna look on me, a person who has had no work done? Is it even gonna fit? Like, is it even gonna look right, is what I'm asking. Then we have another one, it's just like, okay. Now see, on this model here, it looks normal, right? Yeah, that looks, that looks normal. Like, even though she does have a, a larger backside, it doesn't look as obscenely large as this, you know? It looks like a normal person, is what I'm trying to say. Fashion Nova, I will say, they do, they do have a decent amount of plus size stuff, so that's good, I guess. And again, this looks like a person that exists. They they certainly are a fan of taupes and beiges and creams, neutral colors. I do appreciate a good neutral color, color every now and then, just not as clothing, just more like as nail polish. I do like uh, like this kind of color nail polish i do have some nail polishes that are this color but nail polish and clothes are pretty different <laughs> this one makes it look like the model's arms are way shorter than they should be and it's because of the, <laughs> the way the shoulders like look right and the the sleeves so that's just kind of awkward looking okay this dress this dress i could well i mean the straps are kind of thin but i i'm not mad at this it's $43 though, so I, I think that's reasonable. This kind of dress, yeah, if it isn't like super duper tight, I could see myself in it. Some of the stuff that Fashion Nova has is fine, but the other stuff is just like question mark. Well, I think that's enough clothes shopping for today. I've had my fill and I'm still really into this dress. Hopefully I can find another one that looks like it elsewhere. That's gonna be it for me today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed looking at interesting clothing. Follow me on Twitter, donate to my Kofi. I'm kind of confused why you guys didn't want to see my art collection though. Y'all didn't want this. I wanted it, but y'all didn't want it. It's, it's fine, it's whatever, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, I'm not mad.